guys, welcome back to our channel. So today, we're gonna do eating our food mukbang. We are, we're gonna do a mukbang today and we went to Sai. Sidewood? Sai Berry or something. No, Sidewood. And I believe it's Thai food, um, cause yeah. I got some Thai tea and they had a lot of Thai stuff. I got the asparagus, the pan asparagus. And, I, and Gianna got some type of Mama, milk. I don't know. Go ahead, tell them what you got. So I got some um, noodles, that's my favorite. It's always been my noodle challenge. Uh, that's my favorite. My mom got some rice. Um, my mom got some good. I got, I, I just know what. This that. is your noodles. Oh, uh, I just know. That's my noodles. You want chicken in there too? Okay guys, so. Gianna got some type of noodles. I don't even know what she got. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was gonna be like a soup type thing because that's what she wanted, but they didn't have it. So here I am, I'm eating out of the container. Don't eat my noodles. We're just gonna talk to you guys. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Ow, ow! What celebrity would I rate as a perfect 10? Mm. Or is this even a question? Mm, I don't know. Kim Kardashian. Period. I don't know. Okay. But I would also say Tiana Taylor. Huh? Ooh, snap. <laughs> Cassie. <laughs> I am. Um. Taylor Whaler. <laughs> <laughs> um, who is your best friend at school, Gia? Kaylani, Mia, Dallas, Charles, Lucas, Mia, Charles, Dallas, and um. If you had to change your name, what would your new name be and why would you choose that name? Honestly, I think about this a lot. I think my name is so perfect for me. It's insane. Don't you think how insane it is? How parents literally will pick a perfect name for us? Like, Rihanna fits her so well. Like, I couldn't imagine her name being like Jasmine or something, you know? It's just crazy. And I mean, some parents, when they try to do too much or try to be too creative, but for the most part, I feel like my name fits me so well. Um, but if I was to change my name, it would be like Prada. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I have no idea. That's like a crazy question. Hmm. What would you name me, Gianna? Kind of Jasmine. She just heard me say that. Um, I think I had this in one of my other videos. Um, my parents were actually gonna name me Jasmine. It was between Jasmine and Chanel. No, don't. But my mom loves Chanel, so. Um, your mom is with Chanel. Your mom is grandma. That's right. Your and mom I, is grandma. And when I told her that, when I told Gianna that grandma is my mom, she was like mind blown and didn't believe me. And then she was upset with me. No, no, no. She was upset with me because I told her grandma's real name is Tracy. And she was like livid. She was like, no, it's not. And she was like, why would you do that to me? And literally ran away and got on the bed and was hot. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And she was just like, why would you do that to me? I guess I ruined her childhood. So here's baby. So the guy, this is so good. I thought you said it was nasty. No, it's so good. This is so good. It's like a noodle and I love it. So she basically, Gia was livid that I had told her my mom's real name. She was very upset. And uh, yeah. And um, you ever think your name will be uh, for um, um, a good name? Your name is like Jasmine or um, kind of like a dishwasher. 
like kind of like kind of like like I never say liquid of you and to, like 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 I'm a good person you you are a good person you're my best friend you're my best friend and it says you I'm your best friend you're my best friend I feel you sis we're best friends period so what are some things that sound like compliments but are actually insults this is a really good one because I feel like people are always talking about how tiny I am or skinny I am no, or small that. that I am. You never seen that. You're so beautiful. Thank you, Gia. So are you, baby. And I feel like they do the same thing with her. And I, honestly, it's insulting to me. Like, I, I don't feel like it's acceptable to go around and be like, oh my God, like, you're so big. Like, you're really big. Or be like, you have a big body. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, what happened? Oh, there it goes. So I feel like it's not <laughs> So I feel like so I feel like people shouldn't do it to tiny people. Like I just feel like it's hella rude. Oh. You know? Um people are constantly saying it as a compliment, but it's just like why are we even talking about people's bodies in 2019? Like Give me some substance, bit. So guys, after when the when the video start stop it. Mm -hmm. So after after when the video started, guys, we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus and Hocus. Okay. Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus, Hocus. Okay, Gigi. Hey, what is your favorite thing about yourself, Gia? I do like my eyes. Mm. I like my head, my hair. My whole body. Mmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is your favorite question? And your like part of your skin. You mean what's my favorite part about myself? No, your skin. Um. I would have to say my face. No, what just? What's my skin on my face. Well, I'm. I was gonna show you how your skin is. So your skin is, you like your eyebrows, your... That's your, my body. Daughter. When you're saying what I like about myself, I know what you're saying. Okay, so, go ahead baby, tell me. Um, so did you ever see a question with two bodies? Okay, hold on Gia. So basically last year, I started asking her what she liked about herself because I feel like we're constantly guiding our children, right? You know, we're telling them what to do. They, they're very curious and we tell them what not to do a lot, right? Or we guide their behavior in a different a crab. focus or area, whatever the case may be. Give them a crab. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they're constantly hearing like, let's do this, don't do that, this, this and that. They're always hearing that 24 seven, we don't do that or that's not safe or hey, let's do this instead. And I was like, damn, I'm telling her what not to do. I don't want her to start viewing herself as like a BAD child or she doesn't listen or anything like that. So I started focusing on things that she likes about herself. And cause really ultimately it doesn't matter what I think, it's what she thinks about herself. So I started asking her what she liked about herself. And at first she was really confused, but I had her look at herself and I'm like, what are there some things that you like about yourself? Or even <coughs> about your heart, you know? Your heart. And yeah, she would be like, I'm a good friend. I love my eyebrows. So then basically she started kind of like, feeding into it a little too much and she was just like I like my hair I like my eyebrows I like mine and I was all like okay you know that's a good start I mean, if anyone's wondering I'm ha I have Thai Thai tea and my friend of 20 years y'all 20 years she's been my friend for 20 years and uh, she um introduced me to that I thought I was gonna talk and you talk we are so um so the um we go to new fan who always doesn't work. Yes work if my mom fix it or not fix it. It's a good question or a bad question. So who come below us who ever seen like on a question on our Instagram on a on our um videos on our you can you can come below on your tablet computers 
um, some phones. All of that. And on, you can you can come on your you can come along with your TV too. Mm. And uh, oh, actually, if if you have a phone, put it on there, and you you will watch us on your phone to put it on your house. Mm -hmm. And if you can watch it, you can just get, bring all of your stuff, just put it in the outside area. You can watch it for a long time. You get everything, get everything set, put outside. Sometimes and I wonder like, where she gets this crazy imagination. Makes me happy because. From a book. I like it because, you know, some kids lack that creativity because they just got tablets and. My kid as well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and... So I try to keep it to a minimum. I took her T-A-B-L-E-T -T Away. Almost two, two weeks ago. Away. And she had no idea. And that makes me happy because some kids be like raising H-E double hockey sticks. You know what I'm saying? Because they're like, uh-uh, Felicia. Uh. Who is the most inspirational person to you? And that is my bestie, Michelle. She is the most inspirational person to me because she's just such a good level-headed person. She's just super well-rounded and I just love her. She's super positive and I feel like she has brought so much knowledge and power and magic into my life and friendship, like genuine friendship. And it's crazy because um, it's just crazy. Like I just love her and I feel like she's just a good person. I would definitely say that she's my most inspirational person. She's taught me so much about myself, about crystals, about love, about life, about the universe. She was, she literally was my employee at my employee. She was my coworker. And we've been best friends ever since, y'all. And guys. What's the longest word you know? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. Um, so we got rainbow flowers. Okay, let me tell you, what's the best present you ever got? What's the best present mommy and daddy or Santa have ever get, got you? A real car of mommy and daddy got me. Yeah, it was actually my dad. He got it for her for her second birthday. But she didn't really know how to drive it when she was two. But now that she's four, I know that she can drive it. But we have to get a new battery because somebody... Took it. Uh, let it charge overnight. You're not supposed to let it charge for more than eight hours. So that was my fault. And uh, yeah, it, just a new battery though, and she'll be good to go. And now she's four, so it has a radio in it. It has an aux in it, sis. It's a boxy. It's a Audi. It got a horn. Like it's it's all that in the bag of chips. Gia, I love you. Do you have any more questions, Gia? Yes. So, um, my mom got a bookshelf and it's had books all over. That's not a question. Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny. No, she's just talking about random stuff. She's like, we got rainbow flowers. My mom's got a bookshelf. Yeah. You see these? And this, that, and the third. You almost done with your food? Dang, I'm almost done with mine too. I got like two pieces of asparagus left. And um, come below us, subscribe to our channel, hit the hit the blog bell. bell button. This girl, I cannot with her. Thank you guys so much for watching.